my name is Amy Naylor. Um, you might remember me from that time when I actually made regular tutorial videos. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but I'm back today to teach you a little bit about paradiddles. We're going to practice some paradiddles together today. And coming from the uh, assumption that you know nothing about them. So whether you're here to just practice the fundamentals um, or you're here completely new, then this is this is the right video for you. But if you are already really confident in paradiddles and kind of know what you're doing and want to take it further, my next video will be about exploring um, exploring and finding our way around the handpan with them and trying new tricks and new fun things and making paradiddle practice more exciting. So take a look at that video if that's where you're at. But if you're still here and you're ready to learn, great, awesome, hello. Um, we're going to break it right down. We're going to learn it beat by beat. So we'll go right to the beginning, learn it super slowly um, together. Um, but before we do, I will show you exactly what a paradiddle looks like. It looks like this. And I'm playing right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Or paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. So a paradiddle is um, it's a drum rudiment, and a rudiment is like a really short pattern of beats um, that a lot of um, percussion players and drum kit drummers, um, there's, I think there's 40 rudiments, drummers might correct, correct me on that, I'm not 100% certain. Um, but yeah, it's a pattern, it's a practice pattern, and it's kind of like a building block for, for bigger um, things. So, And paradiddles are a really, really popular one. Um, because it's really great for practicing which hand you're leading with, so your right or your left, constantly switching between leading with one of those hands, um, and so it builds up strength in both of those hands. It's really, really good kind of like like equalizing your right and left side. And so that's why we practice them. Um, so now that you've seen what one of those is, we're gonna pick up our hand pans and we're just gonna practice it. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna go for it. So. The beat that I'm using, um, if you haven't already um, found it, on my website, amynaylormusic.com, there is a, a tab under there that says um, upbeat, free beats for practice. And there's loads of beats on there that you can use um, to play a handpan along to. They've, they've got no melody in them, so it doesn't matter what scale of handpan you've got, it'll fit. So the beat that we're using today is called ATBPM Cajon and Conga. So if you wanted to practice this in your own time, you can go and find that there. Or you can find that same track at different tempos so you can slowly speed up your practice. But we're going to start nice and steady for now. So this is the groove. And we're going to do a call and response on our handpans. I'll play a rhythm, you play it back to me on a count of four. Okay, so it goes like this. One, two, three, your turn. One, two, three, my turn. Right, two. Your turn. Right, two. I'm gonna build this up. Ready? Right, left, three. Your turn. Right, left, three. Cool. Right, left, three. Your turn. Right, left. Build it again. Right, left, right. Your turn. Right, left, right. Yeah. Right, left, right. Now you. Right, left, right. Also, right, left. One more idea, left, right, left, your turn, 
right version. Okay? Right, left, right, right, go. Right, left, right, next. Right, left, right, 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 left, right. And again, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Switch to the left version. Ready? Left, right. and simple it's nothing complicated it starts to get complicated when you start trying to play it fast and all that kind of thing um, so the next job is to put those two together and to be able to play them over and over again right left right right left right left left so we're going to build that one up now yeah so i'm going to play right left right right left right left left and you're going to repeat it back to me okay are we ready let's try that together My turn first. Right, left, right, right, left, right. Off you go. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Now my turn. I'm going to leave that with you to practice in your own time. Again, all of those tracks are available completely for free on my website, so you can practice along um, to a bunch of different times, bunch of different tempos, different speeds. Um, you can also get a metronome app if you haven't got one already on your phone or whatever. Practice to a metronome. Um, but when you do this practice, when you're practicing your paradiddles, I really invite you to focus on each of your fingers and practice a bunch with your uh, pointer finger. Try and really aim for that level sound, that equal sound, so you're not getting any accents, any heavier notes anywhere. So you want both of your hands to be at the same volume. Practice with your middle, your ring, your pinky, yeah, um, your thumbs. Um, so keep practicing that. You can also practice on different notes. really 
focusing on every tiny movement that your fingers are making, um, like you would when you're practicing your scales. Yeah, so just as your paradiddles are starting to feel easy, I want you to really, really kind of think about it and think about what it is that your hands are actually doing. Are you getting the purest sound that you can? Are you getting the levelest sound that you can? Are you holding any tension in your body? Can you release that so that you can uh, exert all your energy into the right places? Yeah, and play even more evenly and efficiently. Um, so I invite you to practice that just a little bit every day. Um, you can do it while you're waiting for the kettle to boil on the kitchen side. You don't need a handpan for this. You can do it... Um, yeah, uh, well you can do it anywhere, you can do it any way you like, you can do it with your body, foot, clap, foot, foot, clap, foot, clap, clap, yeah, you can do any kind of um, different variation of paradiddles. Speaking of variation, in the next video we'll be exploring a few different things that we can do, for instance, or, or, or. So lots of different funky things we can do with paradiddles. If you want to explore those, check out the next video. Um, I'll put a link in the description below once it's up. And I hope to see you there. If you would like to join my uh, weekly Sunday class, it happens at 7pm every Sunday. It costs anywhere between 5 and £15, pounds, whatever you can afford. And everybody's welcome. Begin All beginners are welcome. It doesn't matter where you are in your playing experience. If you've been playing for a million years, you're more than welcome to come and join us. Um, we also have some social time at the end where we just hang out and chat and um, maybe ask questions or just go off on completely unrelated um, things. So it's really nice just to hang out with handpan players. I really enjoy it, personally, <laughs> just just for the hangout session. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to join us, um, please do email me, amynaylormusic uh, at gmail.com. And um, yeah, that'd be really cool. See you in the next video.